Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another How to Survivor Guy series with me, Ivoli. And today, excuse the llama, we're going to be doing some fun stuff. I don't know what we're going to be doing quite yet, but it's going to be fun. We're going to have some fun like always. So yeah, kick back, relax. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe because I checked my analytics and well, you guys aren't subscribed, but you are enjoying the series because you watch it. So make sure you subscribe, smack that bell. And stay tuned for some more crazy shenanigans. Let's go. All right, guys. So here we are in our first house that we designed uh, last episode. I went ahead and added some stuff in here for decorations and stuff. I, I want a painting or something here, but I don't know if they had paintings. So I'm thinking of getting an item frame and doing like a, a chart or a map wall or something there. But yeah, this house is the first one. And well, uh, the recording failed. Like I did a whole, a whole thing. I did a thing for you guys. And that's creepy. But... Like, this, I'm so sad. I'm just going to walk over, shut up, llama. I'm just going to walk over here and, and show you. We we built an, a whole separate house. Like, I built, I built the whole, I, 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 I did a thing. I did a thing in stupid recording. <sighs> so, yes, this, this house is this house, just turned sideways. Um, it's nine by, I think it's like 13, so it's a little bit bigger, but it's, it's, it's almost the same. Like we got our wheelbarrows out here with our stupid llamas and some hay for transport. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's, it's cool. We got a little table and chairs and an armor stand and bookcases. And then we got our, our, our fireplace cooker. I, I, I don't know. Sure. And a butter churner in the corner, like a whole kitchen, like the whole thing. It's, it's, I just, I, I just, I, sometimes I just don't understand why things have to mess up. And like, I walked you guys through this, like I walked you through every single step, <sighs> but now you get to see it complete and I apologize because I don't know how to like I can't there's no way to go back and recover any of the recordings because they are all corrupt so yeah we did that and we did another thing I, I, I did this before I even did these houses but I did a thing you guys might have caught on to it when <laughs> I showed well last episode so let's um let's let's get over to that and I'll show you what I'm talking about yeah all right, guys. Yeah, this is what I made. We made ourselves a um, Enderman farm. Yup. Uh, I don't know why. I just got really, really, I don't know, not bored. I just, I just wanted Ender Pearls. So the reason why I want Ender Pearls is once uh, 1.16 comes out, I'm going to use Ender Pearls to get around. Instead of trying to fly, because I feel like flying in the new nether is crazy. So, I, whoa, that's loud. So, <laughs> so I'm going to use ender pearls to get around instead of, you back up, buddy. Instead of using my wings, because uh, I ain't trying to hit nothing and die. So, we have two full shulker boxes of ender pearls already. I really wish they stacked to 64 but 16 is fine so we have two full stacks of these um if you want if you guys want drop in the comments or smack that like button we'll we'll see if we get over like 20 likes 30 likes um i'll do a tutorial on this really loud but awesome farm and yes you can see down there i have 32 levels um I did die coming here because I flew in and flew right into the, um, right, right, just right on in. 
And since there's no off switch, they just keep spawning and spawning and spawning. And I, I guess I looked at some back there, which I don't understand because they should have despawned when I flew this way. But I came in here and they immediately like attacked me and I died and lost all 105 levels. So, yeah. But that's what I've been doing. If you want to see this, let's let's get to 30 likes. 30 likes and I'll do a farm tutorial on this. So, it's really easy. I use stone brick slabs to do it because i have a lot of stone so yeah that's what we've been doing but let's get back to the overworld and start something else <laughs> all right guys so we are back and yeah so what we're gonna do now is uh i'm gonna lay out we're gonna lay out some some blocky blocks here for blueprints for our houses because what i was looking at uh not too long ago was I want our road to be five wide, right? So if it's five wide, I want it to be as closest to the houses as possible. So to come along this way like this. So that way, when, you know, when you look at it, you have a house here, a pathway, and then a house, and then maybe the second house or third house, or whatever house, you know, it, it looks like, you know, the houses follow the, 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 uh, the street. And it looks really, really good. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played Assassin's Creed, but that's kind of the look I'm going for where the houses are really close together and the streets are really narrow. But between every you know few houses, there will be one of these little little passageways through to maybe like the next street over because here there's going to have to be a house. So let's, let's see, we'll do a... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do nine by that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we got a nine by thirteen here, right? But that won't work because this needs to be five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So this side's gonna be what's that? Five. And then we can bring in this in a little bit bring this over to five as well so again that's another five and then we can bring it bring it in like this and what we can do with this little corner piece here is put like a a tent shade or a tarp something here and we can have like a small little workshop area just outside the house so those are kind of the plans that i am going for for uh, for these builds, um, actually, let's get some more terracotta here and we can lay out some more houses and house designs. All right, guys. So we are, we got some more, uh, some more terracotta here. And again, I want to keep these streets really, really close, but also like, like I said, every once in a while, I want to have a few houses where you can actually like get through and have a little passageway just like this so these two won't touch here at the bottom like these don't touch but then they touch once you go up because every every house i've uh, I, I plan on this and build designing and building in this town here is going to have a dab or dab wall and then a you know extended upper half or extended living quarter area so daub is more like a, a, a paste or concrete or stucco that they put on medieval houses to keep them insulated. So we're not, it's not stone, it's more of a clay. Um, that's why we're using andesite. But once we get across the water here, across the water to the upper class, they actually use stone. So I'm thinking for them using cobblestone and maybe cracked stone brick and then the next class up closer to the castle will start actually using stone bricks and regular stone kind of like uh kind of like our our walls here on our castle with the uh the smooth the regular stone and then the stone brick well up here because down here is cracked stone but <laughs> kind of like this so it's 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 gonna look pretty good guys it's gonna look pretty good so that's what two three four five six seven eight and then we could do a nine here. Um, I want to keep, like I said, all these houses pretty, 
pretty yeah pretty pretty regular right and regular i mean almost same dimensions um with a slight twist you know i don't want to make them super super big because these are the houses that the you know the lower class people lived in so they weren't like massive or anything um it was just enough space to you know cook and uh go to sleep and all that good stuff so that's 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 gonna be that um let's see i think this one is actually going to be uh set back and we're not gonna put a uh alley on this one because then it would be too 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 close or too yeah too close on this side here in the house so it's that four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we can do uh what's that? Five, six, seven, and then have it come out here. We're gonna have this one, you know, butt up against this one here. And then maybe maybe actually bring mm, we could bring the, 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 the. No, 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 no. I know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave this house here like this. And wanna have another house come here like this. So what's that? Three, seven, because that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Get rid of that. Then bring this out. I think that's what, like 13? I don't know. I didn't even count. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's only eight eight uh nine ten eleven we'll bring that out eleven and we'll have it come in come down just a bit and then have it kind of cut over like this all right so that's going to be that house and then for the house up here um let's see we'll have it we'll have this one not touch because i want I want the fireplaces to be pretty close to each other without, you know, touching. Because that would be weird if the fireplaces touched. So, we'll do... That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. And then... We should still have, like, five blocks. That's three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's plenty of space. Uh, let's see. That's four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, this one's just gonna be a regular, a regular old square house, right? So then we can bring this across like this. Bada bang, bada boom. And now for this house, it's going to, it's gonna kind of not like be angled, but it's gonna have an angle to it. So. We're gonna do not there. We're gonna have it come out to about here, and we do three, and then another one, two, three, and then three. Right. So the house itself is angled, um, and then we'll bring it out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we'll do the same thing for the front. So that way the shape stays the same. Just like this. And then we can just bring the wall down like this. So I'm going to lay out some more houses. Uh, some more placeholders for houses. And then we'll be back. All right. So I'm going to grab some more good old terracotta and lay out some more houses.
All right, all right, all right, guys. Yeah. So, um, I went through, and bada bing, bada boom, we have a bunch of houses laid out. So, this is the way, oh. <laughs> so, this is going to be the road. Um, just going to come along through here like this. And I broke out where I would like the doors to go. And if you can see, this one has two doors, door here and door here is because over here I would like uh, well there's gonna be you know this little street here but the the main like town ish uh, shopping area is probably gonna be like right in here like right in this area here and then there's gonna be another little street here that goes this way with more houses on this side and then maybe a street that goes over to the water because like I said before I do want a dock area over there and up here, uh, there will be a guard shack or guard house, you know, for the guards so they can get to the towers and catapults a little bit faster. So that is what I've done. Like, it looks really cool. Um, there are a few angled houses in here. There are a few smaller houses in here. Like this one here, that's a really small house. It's only like a five by seven um, and then we have this little house here in the corner, and then we have our angled house over here, and another slightly angled house right beside it. So, uh, I want to, well, I'm probably not going to show you guys, like, the building of these houses, because it's, it's going to be just like these, but if you want, let me know. Well, I don't know, we might, I might, you know, show you the progress of building them up, but if I don't, um, that's what we're doing. We're just taking these designs and placing them on these over here. But I might, uh, I might actually start working on a street here. So let's grab some blocks and figure out a really good street palette for our streets. All right, guys. So for our path design here, I'm gonna need your help. So we got first option here with um some brown and regular terracotta and some coarse dirt you know it, it kind of gives it that you know like wet spot like we can do the brown and regular terracotta closer to the house or closer to where water would drip and it kind of makes it look like mud you know or we can do something similar to our path that we already have over by our starter house with coarse dirt and uh, spruce stairs. 
so we have that or we have the more i don't know like cobblestone ish road with um gravel and cobblestone mixed together so let me know down in the comments um before we do the road we got option one two and three here so let me know and while we do that i want you guys to remember to su su sub sub subscribe for your boy just consider subscribing make sure you smack that like button remember we're going for uh 30 likes and i'll give you guys that tutorial on the good old enderman farm and yeah make sure you guys stay tuned smack that bell and i'll see you guys in the next one peace